Welcome to this video where we'll have a look at the rectangular pattern tool in sketch mode of Autodesk Fusion. Suppose we are designing a salon table and we want it to have four of these round legs. I could draw four circles in every corner one. I can also make use of the create pattern. And let's have a look, a rectangular pattern. We can now select the objects that we want to pattern. In our case, it's just this circle. And we see two arrows pop up. Let me click and hold and drag. And look what happens, a pattern creates. And by default, it looks like there are three. Um, we can, of course, uh, type in an exact dimension if we want. And we can also change this number over here. And look what happens, we get a couple more. If I click this arrow, then this uh, box is controlling that direction. Oh, that box jumps around. Yeah, that I, I, I found out that it does that all the time. We also have the complete menu over here and we can also give the number of repetitions over here. Also an interesting one is this distribution drop down. It is now on spacing, which means the number that is given here, let me make it exact 20 millimeter, that is the space between every instance. We can also put it on extent and that means it is now the total distance of the between the first and the last iteration. If I change the number of uh, iterations, uh, we see that it uh, keeps the distance between the first and the last intact and it adds more of those in between. When I am on spacing, uh, then it adds or subtracts them at the end, as we can see right now. Well, I need only two, and in the vertical direction I also need only two, so let me put that on two. And now I have to type in the correct spacing, uh, which is in this case for this table 80 millimeters. And of course also in this direction it is 80 millimeters. And there I have my four legs. To finish I click OK. Okay, and now we have our four legs and the big benefit of doing it with the pattern tool is if I later change my mind on let's say the diameter of this leg, uh, let me do that on the D key to go to diameter, <laughs> dimension I mean, and I can now change the dimension let's say from 16 to 20 and the big benefit is because it is a uh, pattern tool, all four legs have now changed. In case you may want to change only one of the four legs, I don't see a reason in this case to do that, but just for fun, then you can now take away, and uh, let me hit escape, take away this pattern uh, tool, just click on it and delete it, and now the pattern is released and I could give this one uh, another dimension as let's say the only one, the only old one out. Uh, that is what you can do. The word rectangular pattern is somewhat misleading because it does not need to be rectangular. Let's try to make a honeycomb pattern here and to do that I'm going to hit L for the line tool, uh, select line type construction and let me make a helper line over here and another one, oh, let me finish it, and another one straight through the middle of this edge and, uh, well, let me finish it uh, over there. And now I have two helper lines and those are going to be my pattern lines. Um, let me take that away. Uh, let's click on create pattern. Uh, yeah, there we have it and select double click to select all six lines and now I am going to select the lines along which I want to pattern the directions it is multiple I can click this helper line 
and I can click this helper line. Look, that arrow now is pointing in that direction. It's not a rectangular pattern anymore. Let me uh, take these out and take those out. Oh, another neat trick. I don't want to go in one direction. I want it to be symmetrical. That is easily done by this direction drop down. We can do it for both the directions. Uh, let's, me, let's put both on symmetrical. It means that our initial uh, object now stays in the middle. So if I change this number to 5 and also in the other direction I change it to... Uh, oh, I had to click over there. The other direction I change to 5. Oh, yeah, it, that thing keeps jumping around. Now I have a wonderful honeycomb pattern. And there's one other thing that we can do. Uh, I'm, I'm quite uh, in all about these uh, dimensions. Let, it put, let me put it exactly on 24. One other thing we can do, we see here a suppression tick mark. Uh, we can click it. By default it is off. Uh, and now I can also select every every object now has its own tick mark. I can say these are the ones that I do not want to see. If I now click OK, I have a very nice uh, coaster. Uh, let me draw a circle around it. Uh, let's have a look uh, yeah, over here. So this is a circle. And if I finish my sketch now, uh, this is, let me go to top view, this is a, a very nice coaster and all I have to do is right click on my sketch, save it as a DXF file and I can go straight to my laser cutter and cut this as a coaster. Well, this was it about the rectangular pattern. Uh, there also is a circular pattern. Let's have a look at that in the next video. Maybe see you back there and in the meantime have fun.